with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is a special day because it's the last day of Advent. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great old sinner in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delight that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief. One God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, he sh Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old since the time I first appointed judges over my people, Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, I will sing the 
forever, I will say in goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, forever I will confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, my rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, Son of Justice, come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Zachariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and sent them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his prophets, he promised of all that we would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to all fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath, this word, to our father Abraham, to set, uh, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and richness in his life all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the thou from own height shall be break upon us to shine on those who dwell so well in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, you know that is the last day of Advent. One day for fourth week of Advent, only one day. But this day is very important for our spiritual life. The Lord is coming. And there is um, an important question. Are you ready, really, for his coming? Today is a day to be silent. To be silent in this day. Whoever the noise of the world, the interest in gift make us forget that the center of Christmas is Christ. But we are Christians and we must be prepared to contemplate, 
contemplate only. Contemplate the great mystery of Christmas that is near tonight. Today, try no speak little. Sorry, today try to speak little, a little. Do not get distracted. Try. Do not let the hours pass without preparing the cave of our heart for Jesus to be born in you. Pray throughout the day so that God find us you awake. It's very important for Jesus. So, first, silent during this day. Silent. Second, second, when the moment of the birth of Jesus comes, do not let that sadness, for example, or worldly joy steals you the child Jesus. When the time of Christmas comes, contemplate the Holy Family in the cave of Bethlehem and contemplate in silence the love that God has given you. For having becoming men out of love for you. I'm going to repeat. First, silent. Second, and this day, second, contemplation. The great mystery. And thirdly, do not forget to kneel. Do not forget to kneel. And give thanks to God because he comes to kiss you with the lips of a child. That is to say, he wants to save you simply because he loves you. It is the mystery, the mystery of the, of the Jesus, of the born of Jesus. Jesus is coming. Today, try to speak little, please, in silence during, the, during this day. Silence, contemplation, and to be grateful. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, dear brother and sister, for our church in the world. For the whole church on this eve of the Savior's birth, that our blessed mother, who kept the first advent with such immaculate purity and expectation, may guide our final preparations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the one who is the dawn from on high may break upon us and guide our feet into the ways of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, who built an enduring dynasty for King David, may build up in each one of our hearts a throne for himself that will stand firm forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, grieving, poor, lonely, or in financial distress on this eve of Christmas, that in Jesus' name, hearts and hands may reach out to them, 
in respect and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, that they may spend this Christmas rejoicing in heaven with the angels and the one who came to save us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. These prayers of intercession, O Lord, are placed before you as a sign of our trust in you, who sent Jesus to us and sends the Spirit to lead us to pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your make us a table to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring, that partaking of them we be cleansed of our sins, and married to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thin, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by, the, it is by his gifts that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we are and we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy. Hosanna in the high, blessed is who come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the high. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit up and then like the doubtful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and in for of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to, her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy will come then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with our blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with our blessed Joseph, her spouse, with our blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who says to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Grant to us who find new vigor, O Lord, on this your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your son's nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God would bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ending. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and it is our death. Amen.